Right, so first full day. Morning. Morning. Um, really good night's sleep last night, which we really needed after the three day travel day. The plan is we're going into Funchal um, town now. Going to have a go on the cable cars, which go up to the gardens, which we're really looking forward to seeing. Um, I'm not too sure on the cable cars because I suffer from heights really bad and have been known to pass out when I've been wearing Wellington boots with too thick a sole. Um, so whether we do do the cable cars, I might chicken out, I don't know, but the intention is doing the cable cars. So, and then maybe walk around the old town, something to eat um, and see how it goes. So, a few poncho in between. Yeah, definitely, them ponchos yeah. are very nice. So yeah. we'll just see how we go yeah. with this. Hope it's informative, hope it's fun. Hope I don't get run over the way this holiday's going. Member turn left, no, look left, I don't know. But come and join us and we'll probably show you a alternative out on a limb look at Funchal. See you later. <laughs> See you later. ticket for the gondola and the gardens but you can just get a ticket for the gondola And I don't like that little bridge thing going over Everest in Florida. Oh, the rat. Yeah. Oh, 
I'll be totally honest, that wasn't as bad as I thought, but for somebody like me that doesn't like heights, it's probably not that advisable. It's, you can feel the wind, it they'd really do rock, but it wasn't as bad. Going down's supposedly better, but what a view. We're now going to go into the islands, the uh, gardens now, which is the, the Japanese gardens. So, we'll see what those are like. Right, we're going to have a walk around the Monte Palace Gardens, uh, Madeira. It's um, there's two there's two gardens. This is the the best one to go to. It's the Japanese garden. Um, the other one is more formal, but this is more to our taste. Twelve and a half euros to get in each. Yeah, twelve and a half euros each to get in, um, and then obviously you've got your cable car price as well. So let's take a look. Three fans, aren't they? <laughs> this is basically just the entrance, but the place is huge. Have a look at the museum. I think it is um, quite a lot of African masks and things like that. So, but, oh look. said the order shows how big these tree ferns are like when you can actually see these people walking down to the left in a minute it actually puts them into perspective how big they are that's massive won't mind a few of these in the garden i'll keep the neighbors off some lovely ferns you see, for those of you that don't follow Out on a Limb on Instagram, um, we love gardening. We've got um, we've, we've spent quite a lot of time doing our our garden up. We will be doing a garden vlog eventually, um, but it's all ferns, banana tree, banana plants, etc. Um, but we just love walking around gardens. A lot of people might find this sort of boring. Technically I would because usually what I find is touristy places of interest bore me. But I do like this. And here in the jungles of Africa we find the wild sailor hiding amongst the undergrowth looking for berries and nuts to chew on. <laughs>
there is actually a connection between Japan and Madeira. Um, I'd read it on something, but it was on, Inst on YouTube or from another channel. I don't know what the connection is because I don't really research anything. Don't know if you've noticed. And it's the same with these tiles. Um, these are Madeira tiles. I think they're imported. I should really research stuff. But again, these have a link. Um, yeah, I really do need to research. I think I think um, Sarah will probably come out with some amazing information about this because she knows there is a link between Japan and Madeira. Oh really? Yeah, because I did see it on. I did a little bit of research and these towels. Um, but like I said, I've totally forgot. So if you're interested in knowing what the link is, I suggest you go onto YouTube and um, search. I'm sure some proper YouTubers will give you the relevant information, but I just like sitting back and enjoying the beauty of a place and not getting too bogged down in facts. <laughs> it's like trees and ferns and stuff. It's, um, it's nice, isn't it? It's just nice getting out. You hear that bird? It's sort of like a blue tip, but... Bigger. Yeah, bigger and black. It is gorgeous, though, especially when the sun comes, comes out. That's another thing you have to bear in mind, as, as weird as it sounds, we're quite, we're very high up, obviously, and the sun's only just come, come out where we are in the gardens but as you look down Funchal itself near the coast it's gorgeous it's been gorgeous sun but as you get higher up the sun seems to disappear and it is a little bit colder so if you come like we have springtime it is probably best just bring a, a hoodie or something with you but um I mean it's 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 lovely it, shirts but it is just worth bearing in mind if you do feel the cold. They're sunbathing, what are they? Oh, cool. Don't know if you can see that. But we've got a lizardy friend. Out the wall. Seen the bottom. No. It's all lava rock oh. and with these lizards. There's loads. Quite well hidden. Look oh, there. This size of this one. You'll probably bite my finger off. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're insured for that. With the... He's a biggie. You do, you can hear them before you see them. There's a lovely colour. They're a totally different colour and size to the ones that we see in Florida. So we've got two water features at home because both for aesthetics and it drowns out the noise of the little boy next door Chucky when he's in the garden and his head spinning round and he's bringing out the demons
Sarah's just informed me these. No, I don't know. She doesn't know, but I guess they're, an orange flower. they're called agapanthers. I think. If there's any gardeners, who know? Please comment. So it looks like we've actually left obviously the Japanese parts of this garden. This is almost Greek or possibly even Italian. Something else we should have never researched. There. Complete with cannons. The theming's really nice here. said that we've got a, a habit of going places and we, com we, we compare them to Florida and I'm trying to do it but Epcot. Epcot. Can I guess? No, I yeah. said Canada, I said Italy because this is the Italian. No, I, it's like, yeah. I think this is the Italian style There's garden. There's a bit of Japan thrown in as well. Any, you, anyone who goes to Disney in Florida, do you do that? Do you go away and Compare are we just sad? We just can't even go around as there without comparing stuff to Walmart, which we would, wouldn't you? Up with the water viaduct, I think what's what it is. It's obviously like a, a Roman Italian theme going by that. What did you say it was? Port Meredith? Port Merion it reminds me of. Port Merion. In Wales. Oh, in Wales. Oh, so Sarah thinks he's Welsh. You can tell by the palm trees that it is. So, oh. There would be a big white bounce ball flap going around that where... Oh, is that what? Oh! Where filmed, filmed them. Uh, yeah, obviously we haven't done our research in <laughs> Wales as well, so... We just have to Google So, them. yeah, if you don't mind putting comments where what was filmed in Port Meriden. But yeah, to all our Welsh viewers, it's what? Oh, the prisoner, yeah. yeah. So to all our Welsh viewers, it's like looking at home, isn't it? Yakida. Yakida to our Welsh viewers, Sarah. We are now entering the backside of water. Another reference that only some of you will get. We have been joined again by another lizard while we're sitting having a rest. I shall call him Eddie. <laughs> Eddie Lizard. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Where's he gone? He's gone back into the water. Ian, wall. it's in the. Is it? No, it's gone back in the water. I thought he'd gone in the bag. No, yeah. back in the wall. Is he, Eddie? No, not a fan. These are actually people's houses. But let's look at that view. I'm actually retired. And when Sarah retires, we're planning on, or we're dreaming about, seriously considering having a place in Florida and we were talking about Spain um, Alicante because we've got quite a few friends in Alicante but I must admit we're now talking about Madeira just a small apartment for the six months of the year that we 
what we're staying in Florida. But we do love Madeira. Just wish we had more facts about it. Just a bit of a word of warning, we absolutely leisurely walk in these gardens going down, but it's one hell of a walk going up. They do a golf cart trip back up for I think three euros, but I'll be honest with you. We're knackered. <laughs> We're gonna cheat. We're too tired. We're gonna take a buggy ride. Cause we're old. Let's do it. I said, oh, I've never been on a buggy before. I'm gonna go on it. Let's <laughs> yeah. have a cable car. Let's have a buggy. I'm just saying I've got a bad back. I'm just saying I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I was just walking up that hill up there and I was like, oh, we don't want yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, we're cheating a bit. To be honest with you, after going on this, I might do that sledge thing down the hill and not go back on the... We'll do that another day. Yeah. Come back up on the... Um, sledge. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come back up and we'll just do a single way and then go back down, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, we did cheat there and get the golf cart because uh, we only probably walked a small area up and we were knackered. But we did get some judgmental looks off all the people walking up. Right, we're going to have a beer and then we're going to get the cable car back down. We were considering getting the like sledge you can, can get down the toboggan. Um, but probably the only thing I did research about and it just brought up quite a lot of YouTube clips of them crashing and Sarah when she gets back to work on Monday, Tuesday, uh, has got a number of surgeries to do so we can't have her breaking her hand or manual camera. So we chickened out on that as well. Right, 
right, this is Madeira, this is Madeira Royal Town, where it's all the restaurants and the bars, and all the doors are painted by local artists. You can see the artwork on the doors and obviously when the restaurants are closed.